Happy Turkey Day, everybody. It is Thanksgiving, and I wanted to give you guys a unique video, something I've never done, something I think, you know, quite a few will be interested in. But basically, what is the value of my statue collection, or at least what do I value it? Uh, potentially, how much have I spent? <laughs> uh, now, some of these pieces I didn't spend that much, but I consider value, you know, worth that much. Now, this is what I would consider... Some of it market value, some of it what I paid and what I consider it worth. Like I wouldn't sell it for anything less. Uh, so we're gonna go room by room and then tally up the total. Now this room is my most valuable room. You have tons of ECC, tons of bus, tons of Predator, Alien, Silicone bus. You know, you know, like for example, like that Alien bust generally goes for $6,000. You know, so this room definitely is my most valuable. And everything I'm including stops right at Rotunda T-Rex. And we're not including Indiana Jones because that's sold. So we're including all the predators, all the whore and monsters and everything at the TV wall. And I am including props like this. You know, because those are included. I don't include like posters, but I'm including like that. That, you know, that hand and book, for example. But if you guys had to guess how much just this room was, uh, what do you think? So I tallied through and I calculated this room is worth $116,450. That is what I value my main theater room at. So over $100,000. And I still have quite a few statues on pure like very expensive ones, like Prime One Predator, Prime One Alien Warrior, that right there is 5,000. You got Ghostface Leatherface, that's 2,000. You got the two dark side one thirds, that's another more or less 3,500. And if we get Khaleesi busts or whatever we want, you know, we're definitely gonna be adding 10K plus more to this room. But that is currently what I value the main theater room at. Uh, now we go to the hallway, which, you know, I just did this a little bit separate. It's more or less all my dinosaur statues. So everything, you see from the Indoraptor until Rotunda T-Rex and all this, I valued at $14,000. Now that's what I think I could sell it for. So 14,000. Then we come to the Marvel and DC room and I actually consider this my second most valuable statue room. Uh, we have a lot of one fourth scale statues underneath. You know, like all these, you got all these big hitter silicone busts. You got a lot of silicones, you know, some, you know, J&D, and we got more J&D on the way. There's quite a bit more money that's going to go into this room. You know, probably one of my most expensive statues, Wonder Woman on horse in here. And a lot of my most expensive busts are also in this room. And some of these I didn't value at what I paid. Like, you know, I paid four grand for that Hulk bus. I don't value him at that. I value him at three grand. So I'm counting him at what I consider his market value at. Now, even like these, I consider what I would mark value them and some of the props as well. So let's go ahead and tally this room up. All right. So after tallying everything up, I value this room currently at $83,000. Uh, and we still have quite a bit of stuff on PO. Uh, you know, I believe J&D Harley is actually going to be shipping in the next like two days. Uh, so, you know, she's a $2,500 piece. We have J&D Mera, potentially Infinity Mera bust, Harley Infinity bust. We got Wanda one fourth coming, the new Loki, which, you know, we'll replace that and I value it more than that, as well as Doctor Strange, potentially Thor, Dark Side Steppenwolf, and Black Adam. So we still have uh, probably $20,000 more and J&D Wonder Woman. $20,000 more worth of statue. So at the end of the day, this room will probably be a $100,000 room, you know, which is quite a bit for, you know, a much smaller room than the main theater room, but we have a lot of stuff in here, but also just looks really freaking good. So as of right now, $83,000 for my Marvel and DC room. So yeah, you gotta love Marvel and DC to spend $83,000. It's a lot of effing money. All right, let's hit the Transformers room up. Alrighty, so this is my smallest statue room, but we do have some big heavy hitters in here. You know, like Prime One Shockwave, valued at $5,000. King Ghidorah, $3,000. All the Transformers are $1,000 plus dollar pieces. The Lord of the Rings, Turtles, everything. You know, so we have quite a bit still in this room, even though it is smaller. 
but and we still have some big heavy hitters coming in this room but as of right now i would value this room at fifty thousand dollars so 50k and we probably have Woo. I mean, we have Megatron, Jetwing Optimus, that's 7,000 coming. We got Berserk Urukai, Gimli, Frodo, we'll get the new Gandalf, Nazgul, Morgul Lord, Godzilla vs. Kong, potentially Kong Bust, and Mecha Godzilla. You know, so we still have probably $20,000 going into this room before it's complete. So at the end of the day, it'll probably be a 70,000 room, you know. But as of right now, it's valued at 50K, but we still have a lot coming into this room. Heavy, heavy hitters, three of which are en route, the two Transformers, as well as Berserker Urukai. So that is what I would value the Transformers room. Then we come to the DBZ video game room, which has a lot of statues. You know, I got my entire Mortal Kombat collection, my entire Dragon Ball Z collection, which is a lot smaller now. You know, and then all the video games, Bruce Lee, Warcraft, which used to be main room, but I put it back here. But those are valued at quite a bit, you know, like I could sell for the most part a two grand each. Uh, Kratos Prototype, which, you know, I value at quite a lot of money. You know, I sold a regular for 2500 and that's a prototype, so I could definitely sell it for more. It has a superior paint job. All the video game stuff. So this room, I value it at about $71,000. So a little under the Marvel DC room because that one has more silicones. This, I would say, has more statues. That one just has more silicones. And, the, you know, those really add up when you have a lot of those busts. We don't have nearly as many busts in this room. We only have, what, one, two, three, four, four busts with, you know, only one on PO to go in here. Now, we still have, you know, some statues obviously coming. We're going to get Prime 1 Vegeta, KD Vegeta bust, uh, Infinity Studio Cell with... Ryu Studios, Boo, Sume Frieza, Katie Sel Gohan, Katie Boo, Uncharted statue, and inevitably probably Last of Us 1 and a Tomb Raider statue. You know, and that's, and then the little Link one fourth. So we're probably going to be adding another 10 to 15K in this room. So 10 to 15K uh, is what I will say will probably be added to this room to get it to that point of absolute perfection as of right now the most valuable is the bruce lee bust and then probably sume broly i value those two at the most and then possibly golden so if we tally everything up now just doing base numbers more or less uh my entire statue collection you know and i didn't include some things like posters shelving that i input you know if you consider how much money i've put into posters frames shelving lighting all that stuff it definitely adds quite a bit as well but at the end of the day my collection i value at over three hundred and thirty three thousand dollars for statues and props you know and you probably have to add another 10 to 15k for everything else additional i've added to this collection so you know more or less three hundred fifty thousand dollars is what i value the collection at you know if i was to you know, post tomorrow, my entire statue collection's for sale. I'd, I mean, I, I don't know if I'd necessarily get all that money, uh, but I think I would definitely be north of 250 at least after shipping, like my take home. Uh, not something I plan to do, but I did want to, you know, make this video for you guys because I thought, thought it would be quite interesting. So a $300,000 collection, more or less. How much uh, money I've put into this, which is so much freaking money if you think about it. I have so much money to be putting into statues. And again, I also have probably $50,000 in pre orders. You know, I still have, I think, 27 pre orders and seven statues in route or something like that. Uh, so definitely quite a bit still coming into the collection and there will probably only be a few more pieces I actually do pre-order like Berserker Predator, Khaleesi Bust, if we ever get a Hawkeye one fourth, and if we get Wolf one third by P1, you know, definitely we'll get all those. But anyways, folks, that is what I wanted to do a video for you guys. Let me know what you guys think below. How crazy am I that I've spent over $300,000 and statues that's just absolutely maddening but yeah hope you enjoyed this video have a great holiday if you guys are looking to buy any statues please use the links below and i'll see you on the next one have a great day